well, the, well, the schedule in regard to Erlingus really is that we'll sell the steak uh, at the right time, at the right price and under the right conditions. Um, I don't feel under any pressure uh, from the Troika and I never had uh, to dispose of the steak. Um, some people were trying to put me under pressure about a year ago to do so, but uh, since then the share price has appreciated uh, significantly, so um, I don't feel un under any pressure to do so, but I, I do think that it's the right thing to do, uh, because really since privatisation the government has had a reactive policy to Ryanair. Essentially the entire policy has been driven by Ryanair and its machinations, and I don't think that's the right future for Aer Lingus. Aer Lingus needs uh, secure ownership um, and having uh, one large shareholder that wants to take it over and another that wants to dispose of its stake isn't the best way for the future. You know, if I look around at potential buyers, I don't have a preferred buyer or, or a perfect buyer, and I don't think you can operate on that basis anyway because you can sell on Monday and somebody can sell on a Wednesday, so there's a few things we need to think about. Well, I think there's probably a few more chapters to go in relation to the Ryanair takeover bid. Um, first of all, the Commission hasn't made its formal decision. Uh, Ryanair has indicated that they will appeal to the European Court of Justice. And also there's a, Europe a UK Competition Commission um, investigation underway, and that's crucial because they have the power to force Ryanair to dispose of its stake. And were they to do that, that opens up all sorts of opportunities.